Hi, I um, want to talk a little bit about in integer arithmetic here. So um, within VBA and Excel, there are two arithmetic operators that you might not be as familiar with as with things like plus and minus. And these are called mod and integer divide. So um, these are both basically designed to work with integer type of values, whole numbers. Uh, you can actually use them on other data types, but we're going to focus on their use on integers. So um, the backslash operator is the integer divide, as opposed to front slash, which is normal divide. It gives you the whole part of the answer when you divide one integer by another, and mod gives a remainder. So let's look at a couple of examples here. If I take 17 and integer divide by 3, I'll get 5 because that's the integer part of the quotient. 3 goes into 17 five whole times. On the other hand, if you want the remainder, you could do mod. So 17 mod 3 is 2 because, um, well, 17 minus 15 is 2. That's the remainder when you divide 17 by 3. Another couple of examples. If I take 24 mod 5, I'm going to get 4 because 5 times 4 is 20. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm an integer divide. 24 integer divide 5, I'm going to get 4. While um, if I do 25 integer divide by 5, I'm going to get 5 because, one more, because it goes in 5 whole times into 25, but only 4 whole times into 24. Now with the mod, that's remainder. Uh, 24 mod 5 is also 4 because 4 left over. And 25 mod 5 is 0. So this, in fact, is a way to test if an integer is divisible by another integer by seeing if the mod is 0. So 25 mod 5 equals 0 means 25 is evenly divisible by 5. Now let's take a look at an example where we actually use these for something reasonably useful. Um, and I'm going to take a look at the um, coins integer demo in Excel. So first let me show you what it does. I'll push this, and I'll enter an amount of, num num amount of money. So let's say it's $4.67. Okay. Now okay. So this tells me that's four dollars, two quarters, um, a dime, a nickel, and two pennies. Let's try another one. Um, five dollars and twenty-five cents. Five dollars a quarter, and I don't need any dimes, nickels, or pennies. Okay, so how did I do that? Well, if we go look at the code here using Visual Basic, um, you can see that first thing I'm going to do is get the total amount of money from the input box, the way you saw me do when I ran the program. And um, then the next thing is I multiply it by 100. Now, that gets rid of the decimal point, right, because my cents are um, two digits past the decimal point. And so this gives me a whole number, and I use cint here to force a conversion into an integer data type. And now um, I'm going to use alternations of mod and integer divide to get how many dollars, quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. Um, so doing the um, integer divide by 100 gives me how many total dollars. And um, Doing the mod gives me the remainder, which is the amount of cents. And then because of the way our money system is set up, I can actually do something very simple to figure out the rest of this. So I can just do mod 25 to get how many quarters, and um, do the remainder, uh, sorry, integer divide 25 to get how many quarters, and then get the remainder mod 25 to figure out um, how much money is left that I have to divide up. And then I do integer divide by 10 to get the number of dimes. And um, the remainder is then uh, doing my 10, how many uh, cents are left, which is going to be either one or zero nickels doing this. And then however many are left is the number of pennies. And then once I have all those values, I just put them onto the spreadsheet using these assignment statements along with the labels that tells what if each thing is. So that, that shows you a typical use for um, these integer arithmetic uh, operations. 